Hey everyone. So I thought that rather than keep replying the same thing over and over again on my posts, um, to comments on my posts, I would just um, do a video to kind of cover the feeling um, and cover a few points just in a video. Um, I would like to just add to start with that um, I'm not claiming to be perfect. Uh, I'm not claiming that I know that I'm saying the right things or doing the right things. Um, I'm just listening, educating myself and being an ally voice. So I ask you, people listening to this video, if you're, or everyone, but if you're uh, somebody who is commenting on my posts and you feel uncomfortable by the Black Lives Matter movement, the protests, the posts that I and everyone else is posting and sharing to raise awareness about what's going on, ask yourself, why is it that you feel uncomfortable? What makes you feel uncomfortable? And I'm not saying you shouldn't feel uncomfortable because the fact that you notice that if you do is a good thing because from that can become growth and educating yourself and having an open mind. But why is it that that is making people feel uncomfortable? People are protesting, peacefully protesting. And I'll firstly just say there are riots, some riots going on, which are started from both sides. I've watched many videos where riots and aggression and uh, violence has been started by the um, the uh, authorities, people, the policemen uh, at these protests. Um, so it, it's going both ways, but those are the minority. So I'm not here to discuss those. That, that's always going to happen. Um, but a peaceful protest about somebody's life, someone who was murdered, murdered in cold blood, murdered because of the colour of their skin, and then nothing done about it. Why does that make people feel comfortable? And why is that not enough? I've had, I, I get it that a lot of people are saying, you know, we're in a pandemic, so we shouldn't be protesting. But I will just say to that, then when is the right time? Why is it that something like this happens and people have to wait? Because racism affects millions, if not billions of people all over the world. It, I, it kills more people than COVID. Why is it that it's either or? Just because COVID affects you and you feel a way about that, I get it, people are scared. People are also scared because of their skin color. People live their lives in terror and fear and don't have the same opportunities and worry for their children. People go out in the middle of the day for a run, a child, and gets knifed down and shot and killed just because of the color of their skin. Somebody can be in their bed at night and be gunned down in their sleep because they are black. How is that not a worthy cause? Pandemic or not, that is something that is absolutely wrong and needs to be stopped. There have been measures, this has been going on for centuries, if not since the beginning of human, human evolution. And I am not going to, you know, people need to listen and hear that this isn't something that's just come out of the woodwork. It is systemic and it is global. It is everywhere. And people are, have been trying to fight this, standing up for what's right, being a voice, trying to fight for equal, equality, which is absolutely fundamentally right for centuries and that hasn't worked so guess what now it's protest time and if people are uncomfortable with that then you need to look at why why are you uncomfortable why are we even having a conversation that somebody's life was taken and people are fighting against that yes the cops have been charged now because of the protests so they worked to start with Point one, that's helped. They have been charged. But that isn't the problem. It's not just one man's life. Even if it was one man's life, that would be fine. It's global systemic racism, which people are fighting against, which we are, should all and are all fighting against. This includes everyone. And we shouldn't have to have the, the, the conversation about whether that's 
a, a, a protest about Black Lives Matter is okay, shouldn't even be had. Why are we even having that conversation? And another conversation, which I detest and should not be happening, detest is absolutely the wrong word, but I'm trying to be as calm as I can on this video, is that people saying to me or to others, and I've read comments everywhere, um, that this man was an asshole. Uh, he went to prison. He did this. He took drugs. And what? So what? So that means he can be knelt on in the cold light of day and murdered because he was on drugs or because he went to prison before or because he did some shitty stuff. So what? That doesn't give anyone the right to do anything. He was arrested peacefully for writing a fake check. So apparently writing a fake check, that's what the person who called the police on him thought. And then he was knelt, he had his neck knelt on whilst he died. Whilst four cops stood there, one doing it and three let it happen. And apparently that's not enough for people to be protesting about, let alone the underlying enormous issue of racism, which this represents. So that shouldn't even be, that shouldn't be a conversation. That no matter that what someone's done matters about whether their life counts or not. And let's just delve into that a little bit more anyway. Why does somebody take up a life of crime and drugs? Yeah, you got it, because of the system, because of the systemic, deep set racism that is everywhere because it favours white people in jobs across the world and in America where this man lived, favours that he won't be in that position to get a job. Grew up somewhere that isn't, isn't likely that somebody would want to employ him from there. So then he turns to crime or drugs to feed his family. And I'm not advocating that, but we would all be do that in the same place. We would all, given those same walking in the same shoes of that person, we would do exactly the same thing. It, it leads people to go into that, those things because they're not supported, they're not given the same rights, which is the whole point. So if we want people to be less likely to be drawn to crime and murders less likely to be happening unjustly and the system to be holding people accountable that I've over and over again in a place of authority as a police officer or whatever position they're in, be shown to be racist, and overly aggressive should not be in that role. That is the problem. It's the system that's the problem. The system that supported that man being in the position where he could arrest somebody peacefully and then kneel on his neck and murder him whilst being supported by three other people. It's the same system that allows police officers to gun into someone's house without a warrant while the person they were actually looking for was already in custody and kill that woman, kill her in her sleep. The same position that led to two white men, a father and son, killing a young boy running in the mi middle of a pandemic, doing his daily exercise, and he just got killed and they weren't even arrested. That is, the, that is the system. That is the problem that people are fighting about. So if you have a problem with people standing up against that because you feel that at the moment there's a pandemic and people shouldn't be protesting. We need to ask ourselves why. Why do COVID deaths matter more than the deaths of people, black people, at the hands of the system and white people? There's nothing more to say that. And I'm not, people can feel uncomfortable saying that. It's not tarring everyone with the same brush. It's not saying all of this, all of that. But it, it, the problem is white people, us. The system we live in where we're privileged my voice counts more than someone's, some, the same voice of a black person. That is a system we need to fight. And by being an ally, educating yourself, watch 13th, watch uh, Dear White People. There are documentaries, there are books. We need to be watching them, we need to be reading them, and we need to be listening. Not just fighting against the fact that we don't like something because it makes us feel uncomfortable. Or that you... I've heard people saying them and us. It's not them and us. It's not them and us. It's us, we're people. And people say, oh, I'm not racist, but they're making themselves look like dicks. You are racist by saying that. Who is they? There are people, white and black people, all people of different colours going together to protest. This is not a fight of, the whole point is, it's not a fight of us against them. People, things should be even. And might I just add, people pulling down that statue, that guy was a slave trader. 
Okay, he did a load of philan philanthropy. I can't even say that word. Um, he did some nice things with the money, his fortune that he bore off the back of slaves. Okay, but he shouldn't be an icon. He was a slave trader in a company, the Royal African Company, that was guilty for enslaving over 100,000 people. So where, why, why, why is he an icon? Why? Why is that even a conversation? That should be a gone. That should never have even been erected. We have to change the narrative. These conversations shouldn't even be conversations. You know, why are people standing up for a, a, a life? Because he was in prison. Why is that statue being torn down? Why is the protest going on? These shouldn't even be conversations. We should be asking ourselves, how can we be allies? How can we stop this? How can we make sure our actions and our voices and the things that we do and the privilege that we have is used to making sure that everybody is equal and that this changes the deep set change that is needed. So I'm going to stop ranting now. Please educate yourselves.